Welcome back, Dave Tayo here for the New School. Today's quick tip is on the transport controls. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move my mouse up. I know, I know, I'm touching the mouse. That's not a great idea. Typically shortcuts are the way to go. Uh, I just wanna show you where they are, okay. Uh, so we've got the play button, that's the triangle. Stop is the square. Uh, the red circle, uh, right now it's got a P on it. There we go. Uh, that's your record enable button. We've got uh, go to end, uh, return to zero, fast forward, rewind, all your typical transport controls. Um, thing is, you can come up here and hit play. You can. I'm not going to try to tell you to use a mouse to do that because that's gross. Uh, because the space bar is indeed uh, the thing that's going to make it play for you. It's also going to make it stop. Let's say you want to rewind from there or fast forward from there. Actually, let me get in here. Let me zoom in. Let's see what, let's take a peek a little we're doing here. Eh, let's get that vocal nice and tall. Okay, so I want to uh, hit play. Uh, I can use zero on the number keypad as well. Uh, that's play. That's also uh, stop. I'm in insertion follows playback right there. I don't like that right now, so I'm going to hit end to, sh to shut that down. If I want to fast forward from there, I can hit and hold two. I can rewind by hitting and holding one. Um, if I want to arm the track, let's go ahead and hit Shift R since my cursor is in that track. That's enabled the track to record, and now I can hit three, and that will record onto that track. I don't have anything in the input right now, so we're recording uh, nothing. But uh, there you go. Uh, zero is going to stop that. Now, a couple of real quick things about uh, modifying the transport buttons themselves. If you want to play a loop, you got to have at least a half a second of audio selected. Um, and then the play button you can see up here has got this kind of like uh, this loopy graphic on it um, If I hit four on the keypad that'll shut that off and then if I hit play It's just gonna play my selection and stop right if I hit four on the keypad again and hit play It's gonna go through my selection and loop right back around again as long as you have at least 0.5 seconds selected I'm gonna hit zero for stop um, and then uh, Well, we can talk about punch mode real quick uh, number six on the keypad is going to put recording into a, what's called punch record mode, uh, or quick punch, I guess, is the actual name for it. Uh, and what that is going to do is, let's say, uh, let's say we want to punch over this little section of the vocal right here. I can highlight that section and then Alt click to set my pre-roll uh, back here, and then simply hit record and watch the function. It's going to play until the uh, selected uh, range comes into play here and then it's going to automatically record over just that section and then since i don't have any post roll going it's going to stop uh, okay so there's a quick look at the transport controls again no mouse clicks necessary shortcuts everywhere thanks again i'm dave tyo for the new school